A few nights ago, an Albuquerque man called our newsroom. He was extremely frustrated, but also thankful to be okay. That's after somebody seemingly street racing crashed into his backyard, destroying his property. You'll see for yourself. But it's what that man found and turned us to that is simply unbelievable in covering our street racing epidemic here. Chase Golightly spoke with that man this evening. Chase, part of the car is still in the backyard. He's going to have to shell out a lot of money for the damage, and it appears these street racers really haven't missed a beat. Not at all, Tessa. That driver involved has a history of speeding based on court documents we found. The homeowner says he just hopes more will be done to stop these street racers before someone else gets seriously hurt, especially when some of them seem to be advertising their crimes. I'm the homeowner. Hello. Mark Kiros walked into his Northwest Albuquerque backyard Thursday night to find this. Is anybody injured or everyone's okay? A totaled car flipped on its side with smoke still coming out moments after it crashed into his backyard. It's 25 feet of a busted wall. He had been going really fast to have flipped over, get airborne and land facing the opposite direction. The next day, Kiros got to check out all of the damage, cinder blocks everywhere. And that wasn't all. Parts of that crashed car were scattered throughout Mark's backyard, including its bumper. But it wasn't just their backyard that saw damage. Check out their neighbors. The car's broken side mirror mixed in more rubble, some debris 50 feet away from Mark's backyard. It could have been a, a worst case scenario. Kiros noticed something fall out of the car as it was towed away. I did find paraphernalia. Marijuana uh, included pipes. Including documents with the driver's name who Kiro spoke to that night. Driver did say that he panicked. He said that he was stopped at the nearby traffic light and the racers came and cut him off in his panic to overcorrect. That's how he landed up here. I find that very hard to believe. That's because Kiros did some investigating. He found the driver's public social media pages, including a TikTok showing the crash car, seemingly named Monica, in his backyard. This video taken just a few days before, showing that same car racing. Then the driver's Facebook page, where he describes himself as a street racer in Albuquerque and a member of the group Midnight Dukes. A screenshot is how they communicate amongst each other to say, hey, meet at 11 p.m. at Montgomery on the Hobby Lobby parking lot. We decided to record that specific meetup from nearby, about a dozen cars gathered in the parking lot. Sure enough, we watched as some of those drivers raced each other up and down Montgomery. Now, we did see an Albuquerque police officer drive in that parking lot during that meetup. The officer was there for about five minutes, and the racing started within 15 minutes of that officer leaving. APD has told us as recently as last week after a suspected street racer crashed into an Albuquerque school bus, yeah. they target these racers only for them to relocate. And at this point, APD says they're only doing enforcement targeting street racing once a week, Tessa. And they're not even trying to hide it on social media. We found all of those videos and accounts like that. Chase, nice job. Thank you.